ladies and gentlemen, my name is DK Jumiriji, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Made in Nigeria. This is a poetry for stage performance, what we call a spoken word theater production. In the next 120 minutes, we'll be running through Nigerian history. So come, walk with me. Let's see if we can cover the many long years between amalgamation and independence in 10 quick steps. Ah. I wish, I wish I can continue this walk. I wish I can tell you how this lady danced across the rivers of tribe and distance to reunite with her lover in Lagos. But on the 15th of January, 1966, there was a coup planned by mostly officers of the Nigerian army from the Igbo ethnic group. And its victims were mostly senior politicians and top military officers from the northern part of the country. So nobody was really surprised when six months later, on the 29th of July, 1966, there was a counter coup planned by mostly officers of the Nigerian army from the northern part of the country. And its victims at first were mostly officers of the Nigerian army from the Igbo ethnic group. And my message is about Nigerian unity, uh, particularly in this day where people are from all places that are calling for the country to be divided and all that. I'm, I'm trying to preach a message of unity that in spite of our different cultural differences, that there is still have enough in common to be one country. And I really believe that uh, we, are, we are stronger and we are a much stronger nation together. So we're preaching a, a, a message of unity and tolerance. In Abuja, we hear horrible stories about Medipuri that it's not safe. If you come here, you will be shot, you'll be killed. When I told people I was coming to Medipuri, if you know how many calls I got, be careful, be careful, lock your door. It was crazy, you know, but things are always worse from the outside. You know, people are here and it's amazing. Every, all of us on the cast, we're about 15 of us that came. We're all just amazed at how clean the city is, how peaceful, how everybody's going about their business. And we know that things are not the way they ought to be in Borono, but we trust that things will get better. You know, things will get better. No matter how bad things are now, things will get better. But John jumps up and just jacks him to heaven, throws him the stars there, slams him to oblivion, and as Okoro lies there, now groaning, hey, whoa! We turn slowly to John and whisper, oh, wow. For how else can you say what cannot be said when your ears hear a thing that should not be heard? Like a man that is richer, much richer than you, but has no factory or business anyone can point to, except that he started as personal assistant to the local government chairman, then special assistant to the state governor, the House of Reps member, and now he has mansions all in Abuja. And when he invites you to show you around, this friend from your past who swears, na God, and you don't have the courage to contradict power, just whisper, keep whispering in awe, nawa. Say it aloud to yourself in the darkness when you're woken up by some senior mosquitoes. Say it and laugh when they give you that gist, how a bird dropped from up and turned into a witch. Say it in anger as you're watching the news with a governor there boasting of digging boreholes. Say it frustrated as a woman is walking, but you can't turn and look because your woman is watching. Say it in wonder at this maverick country with her swagalicious people all forming Yankee each day as she dawns with her trauma and drama. Say it in love, Nigeria. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.